Greeting everyone, I'm Kevin. It's the 26th of January and I've read over 20 books. Let's talk about it. I was trying to come up with a list of reasons why I read over 20 books in 26 days. <laughs> and it all just came back to one thing and that is that reading literature is my main source of entertainment. I don't watch TV, I don't watch movies, I don't watch television shows, I don't listen to music that much and what I do is I read. When I feel bored I pick up a book. When I leave my apartment I listen to a book. When I'm working out, I listen to a book and I do work part-time and I am full-time university student, but I still manage to read over 20 books. I do know that a lot of readers watch TV, watch YouTube, listen to music, have a lot of other kinds of entertainment sources for, for them that just doesn't work for me. I would love to be the kind of person who watches movies and can binge TV shows, but I'm not. The only times when I watch a television show or I watch a movie is when I finished a book and it's too late to start a new book, or I finished a book and I just want to sit with that book for as long as possible. I can watch a movie, I can watch a, a television show, but that's kind of it and it is all of january has been the handball world championship and also biathlon competitions and i follow both of these i love sports but even though i follow these games i still manage to read over 20 books i read between commercials like in commercial breaks i read i wake up and i read I read before bed, I listen to an audiobook while I'm eating. It's just, that's reading for me. Other people have other things that they can do a lot. They watch different movies, they watch different shows, they listen to music, they watch YouTube, you name it. And I'm not like that. Literature is my main source of entertainment. And that is the only reason that I can see why I read over 20 books in one month. And I wanted to have this conversation with all of you because I want you to understand why. I don't want you to see on Goodreads or on my January wrap up that, oh my God, this person read 20 books because it's not that much that I read 20 books. I want you to know why or how I read 20 books. If I had what if I had been the kind of person who listens to music when I'm outside, I wouldn't have read as many books as I do. If I was the kind of person who watches YouTube a lot or spends hours watching a movie or binging a television show, I would not have read 20 books. The only reason I read 20 books is because literature is my main source of entertainment. And that is something that I just wanted, that is just something that I wanted to clarify. I don't want anyone to, to check out my Goodreads and see how many books I've read so far or when I do my general wrap up. I don't want anyone to look at that and feel bad because I have been there, like it wasn't that long ago when reading 20 books in a year was difficult for me. Back when I couldn't read more than one book in a month and I was happy if I read two books in a month. It wasn't that long ago, it was just a few years ago. And that is why I want to have this conversation with all of you so that you understand why and if you're the kind of person who watches television shows keep that in mind and i am honestly i'm very happy that 
television works for a lot of people because it doesn't work for me and that is that is okay of course it's okay and if you read one book in a month you are still a reader like that shouldn't even have to be said but unfortunately we have that kind of it's easy to look down on yourself when you're comparing to other people. I don't want anyone to compare themselves to me without knowing why I read 20 books in a month. I don't watch I don't watch TV. I don't play games. I don't even have any games on my phone. I don't do these things. And if you have like a Nintendo Switch, that is awesome. If you like binging television shows, that is awesome. If you follow movies or YouTubers, that is also awesome. But keep in mind that we're not the same. Our sources of entertainment are not the same. For me, it's books and only books and sports. <laughs> that is my sources of entertainment. I watch sports and I read books. And I drink tea and I know things. <laughs> but that's, I just wanted to have this conversation with all of you because it, I, I know what it's like to compare myself to other people and look down on myself because, oh my God, I didn't read that much or I didn't read as much as this person. And I look down on myself because one book in a year was so amazing for me. Like I said in an earlier video, I didn't finish a book until I was 15 years old so it's not like that long ago I say and it's been nine years <laughs> I have only read for nine years and I'm like I'm turning 25 this year and I've only read for nine years but that is just something that I want everyone to keep in mind you're no less a reader than someone who reads more books than you or less books than you. You are just as much a reader. If you enjoy reading, you are a reader. Like that is it. And I don't like that. It feels like we have to have this discussion in this day and age because a lot of people, there is kind of like this discourse going around in the book community where if you read audiobooks, that doesn't count as reading, you're not a reader if you listen to audiobooks. And graphic novels aren't novels. Graphic novels isn't reading, so if you read graphic novels, you're not a reader. And as a teacher, I'm saying that any kind of reading is reading. You can read graphic novels, you're reading. You listen to audiobooks, you're reading. Like, it, it shouldn't be said. I just wanted to have this conversation with all of you and that is it. Please let me know if you have any questions and if you enjoyed this little chat, please leave a like. And please let me know down below how many books you've read this year or how many chapters you've read or how many books you are aiming to read for 2021. Good reading! Bye!